Welcome 2020. A new 10 pack. A time that brings anxiety to many. Why is it that time is an anxiety? We lose time. We never have enough time. Time flies by. We get old with time. But we bring time upon ourselves. A concept of sorts. We live our lives according to the digits on the clock or the numbers on the wall. Time is one of the things we all share in common. So how can we make the most of our time? We start by accepting. We stop resisting and start learning. We look forward with a positive mindset instead of focusing on a negative result. Seeking the purpose for the challenge. Understanding that there is a lesson to be learned. But acceptance is a choice. It can move us from a state of feeling happy to actually being happy. We can achieve a future desire, but we can't get there if we cannot accept today. Is it because we speak and no longer listen? Is it because we have become slaves to a screen? Seeking validation from strangers we don't have a care for? We live for a social life rather than a physical life, where we are constantly being judged without context. Our own voice is often silenced by others. We type how the world should be instead of demonstrating it. We have perfected talk the talk, but have forgotten how to walk the walk. We avoid difficulty and challenges. But until we face adversity, we do not know how we will react or if we will be able to overcome the obstacle. But there will always be a lesson. Lessons are always a result of struggle. We grow through peaks and valleys, the highs and the lows. But before we can climb the mountain, we have to train and improve ourselves first. We are let down when we hold others to expectations. Expectations we set without background or context. There are many conditions we do not know, but we are quick to pass judgment on others when they let us down. We focus on the need to fix others, to police others, when in reality, we need to focus the attention on ourselves. We are not who we were an hour ago. We are not who we were yesterday. And we are not who we were at the turn of the last decade. So we must continually audit ourselves, embracing our strengths and accepting our weaknesses, always evaluating our path. The path should never be easy, but it should always be your own. In some cases, you may need to make a choice to either take a step back and look for a different path or face the challenges that are up ahead. We overestimate what can be achieved in a year, but we underestimate what we can accomplish in 10. Listen, learn, move on, and improve. Welcome 2020.